Can I thought go down the line on this one? Twenty twenty Tokyo Olympics, Team USA. Women's Artistic Gymnastics Chapter 7 at I-5 Exit 118 Gymnastics DuPont, Washington State, 98327 Episode 1, 05 May 2021. The I-5 Exit 118 Gymnastics Facility was swamped with sports news media personnel and the bulky equipment and endless rainbow-colored cables attached to equipment of all types and sizes used to broadcast to the masses in TV land. I-5 Exit 118 Gymnastics held a prestigious record for producing Olympians, for which it was renowned. All eight members of Lillian's group had earned slots on the 2020 Tokyo Olympics Team USA in women's artistic gymnastics. Three of our coaches had been chosen to participate with the other coaches who'd been chosen to train the members of the official team. White flashes from news cameras and red lights tron their video recording devices with a new normal. Our media liaison, Miss Brecklove, was operating in frantic mode. All matters related to the media involving our gymnasts first had to be approved by her. It seemed she worked 24 hours day, she stayed and slept at the gym. Disruptions to the normal routines greatly affected other trainees. First off, breathing space and elbow room was now a luxury. Some time off was issued by staff for our group of 20 tour and every other trainee at the facility. Official training for the official team started at the I-5 Exit 118 Gymnastics Facility Batour spanning out to other places, including the U.S. Olympics Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The vast majority of the members our group had gone on vacation with their families. It was extremely rare that trainees received time off, therefore, their families and guardians took this opportunity for a vacation. Tian Tian, Jasmine, Kim, and I strolled through the front office, hoping that sports news personnel would take notice of us. Thus far, they'd hadn't. All attention was given to the 2020 Olympians. We expressed our intentions through our apparel. I was clothed in an evening dress printed with the 2020 Tokyo Olympics logo and mascot. My hair was tied with an Olympics-themed headband, matching my socks and sandals. We all wore very wide smiles and pretended to be enthusiastic about the goings-on. Tian Tian was clothed in torn knee jeans and a 2020 Games t-shirt and headband with body painting reading, 2020, on her left cheek and Olympics, on her right cheek. Jasmine was wearing Olympics-themed running shorts, shoes, socks, and t-shirt. Kim had gone all out. She was clothed in Olympics-themed spandex running shorts and jogging bra and had painted her midsection with 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Thus far, we'd received zero attention. The sportscasters were more interested in the two strutting peacocks than in us four. We'd made ourselves known and visible, yet they dismissed us as overzealous. Either they didn't buy our fabricated enthusiasm or else they didn't care about anything other than the 2020 Olympians. We didn't give up. We persisted. A few hours before the first actual official training for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics began, I, the group of 14, and several others were hanging out in Mrs. Humphrey's office. She and several assistants were busy beautifying the 14 gymnasts. I was helping one of the assistants as he worked on Janice, one of our predecessors. I held up a small mirror in front of Janice. She was dressed in her official team warm-ups. She said to me, you did not go on vacation with your family like your other teammates did. No, my parents used up their sick days and vacation days months ago, told her. Next to Janice, an assistant was dolling up Mila, another predecessor of ours. Kim held up a small mirror in front of her. 
Mila said to Kim, L feel bad you are spending your vacation time here doing this. Don't you have better things to do? Kim answered immediately, there is nothing else more important than being helpful to one of the 2020 Tokyo Olympians. This will occur only once in my lifetime. For a tour, everything else can wait. Mariah Irwin, whom Mrs. Humphrey was working on with Kobe, held up a small mirror in front of herself. She said to Kobe, thanks for helping. Kobe, very nice of you. Only my best for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, because this will occur only once in my lifetime, Kobe answered. Any members of the 14-member 2020 Tokyo Olympics team who were done with having their hair and makeup attended to were sitting and waiting, playing on their smartphones or tablets. Some OT the girls from our group of 20 tour catered to them and pampered them. Tian Tian was sprucing up Beatrice Jones, doing Beatrice's hair, how Mrs. Humphrey had done hers over the years from memory. Either Tian Tian had a bad memory or she was lacking in cosmetology skills. Beatrice said to Tian Tian, you girls are so nice to be helpful. Tian Tian replied, if I were in your shoes, I would expect no less. Next to Beatrice, Cindy applied eyeshadow to Lillian's brow area. Lillian said, I miss you girls and this place already, and we haven't even left yet. We'll always be with you in spirit, Kobe said. Mrs. Humphrey finished with the last of the 14, Shannon. Several seconds after that, one of the assistant coaches knocked several times, peeked her head in, and said, warm up is in five minutes. Coach Ham wants all 14 Olympians in the training area by then. Coach Florentine Ham was the head coach, he and the six assistant coaches had been chosen to train the 14 Olympians. Several of us walked behind the group of 14. Elbow room had become a thing of the past. The hallways were filled with sports media personnel. White flashes from cameras and red lights blinking on their video recording devices had become the new normal. Miss Breedlove escorted the 14 Olympians to prevent the gymnasts from off-the-cuff questions from media personnel, the types of questions she hadn't approved. Thanks to her, the Olympians proceeded to the training area without incident and without being stopped for a quick Q&A. The entrance to the training area was swamped by media personnel with their white flashes and blinking red lights. We and the Olympians walked sideways, dragging our feet. Had we walked normally, we would have stepped on one another's heels. Make way, folks, Miss Breedlove pleaded. No one listened. They remained stationary, taking pictures and recording video of the members of Team USA for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in women's artistic gymnastics. The US Olympic Committee had provided Team USA with six security personnel. They always remained within an arm's reach away from the 14 members with a few exceptions. Inside the training area was one of the places where they didn't tea stay so close, they waited outside. A few media personnel were allowed in with strict conditions, no flashes, no video recording, no interaction with the athletes or anyone else. They had to remain a minimum of 50 meters away from the athletes at all times. Mrs. Goodale was one of the few allowed in. She and RWO of her colleagues stood there along with other media members and did their thing. Coaches had allowed some of the trainees from I-5 Exit 118 Gymnastics to be present, also with strict restrictions. We had to sit on the temporary benches set up for the media personnel. We couldn't interact with anyone, including the media, and we were not permitted to take photographs or make vidco recordings. Jasmine, Kim, Kobe, Laura, Tian Tian, and I sat at the upper level with much interest in the goings-on. We were also hoping that the media people would take notice of our availability for photo ops and interviews. Thus far, they hadn't noticed at all. They'd taken an interest in everything but our group of...